no longer muted. Today we have 30ml of Camber Fog, 30ml of Midori, and 90ml of Apple Juice. That's all very tasty. Back to game string. Save completed game data? Yes, please. <clears throat> Number one, thank you. Level 76 for Radia, very good indeed. Okay, return to title screen, yes. And we'll only be here for just a very little bit. Big chunk of ice, of course I love ice. Uh, nearly, <laughs> nearly everything is better cold. Okay. Title splash, the darkness and the light. Both of those are Cecil. I'm gonna move the chat box just up a little bit so we can all see it. There you go. Nearly everything is better on us. Uh, not, I don't know, if literally everything, but nearly everything. Cecil, Rosa, and Kane. I love that they like they kind of make this up to be a love triangle. They don't really play it up that much, but there's enough there to inspire some decent fan fiction. Also, Rosa, geez, not wearing much. Good for her. That's the final... Well, it's not even the final four, which is interesting. But you can see some more Amano art for Cecil and Kane and Edge and Rosa. Two, th one, two, three, four, five. All right, there are five there. How the fuck did I fail to count them? I think just Edge kind of blended it into the background. And as a ninja, that's his job. Also, look at Rydea's 80s hair. Don't judge mine either. Fantastic. That's beautiful. Dark Knight Cecil. Paladin Cecil. Hmm. You know what I've decided I'm going to do sometime? I'm going to settle in and do the Dark Knight quests because the reason I wasn't doing that class is now gone. So I'm going to do it. It's Final Fantasy XIV and I'm excited. People say they're fucking incredible, so I should. Yeah. So this is interesting. Kane, unused. That's a weird design. That's essentially Furion, isn't it? Yeah, you should start Endwalker. Endwalker's been really good. Ooh, Rosa. Right here is a child. You can see with the imp summon. Right here is an adult. His watercolors are just incredible. Fang Palamemporum. Weird at that point I had a sword and shield, and one of them a caster, and have them both being different casters. This is the most insane look at suit I've ever seen. <laughs> it's hilarious. I think it's odd that Edge, if you, like you finish the game with Edge, he does get enough time with it, but like he's apparently one of the older characters in Kimeko and he just doesn't look it. Fusoya, they really did a good job at making like his beard blend into his robe and Essentially wearing his beard as well. Like when when he dies and goes unconscious, he turns into a puddle of beard. That's interesting. Golbos reminds me a little bit of how they did uh, Kingpin in Into the Spider Verse. You know, just lots of black clothes taking up too much shape. Scarmelione, the first of the four fiends. Cagnazzo, the water one. Remember him? Cute little turtle. Not so cute now. Barbaric. Uh, And Rubicanto, he was so nice and healed us up every time we fought him. Leshy. You can see how well they converted these watercolors to, like, to pixel art as well. <laughs> Pop D was a weird enemy to fight. Gorgeous. Green dragon, that's amazing. Oh, 
Ah. It's interesting art for a white dragon. Very cool. Red. Two different red dragon arts. Maybe this? It wasn't the first boss, it was certainly one of the first ones we fought. <laughs> the ant lion. That one's terrifying, look at that. You can see the potential size of it. Yeah, Bygen. He turned on us very quickly. <laughs> Remember that? Three Mega Sisters. That's pretty good. Also, that, that small child has a knife. <laughs> what have you got there? A knife! No. Kakabrina the giant doll. Shadow Dragon. Dr. Lugay. That's fantastic. With his pet Barnabas. Transformed together. <laughs> King and Queen of Eblin, who were monsters, and then refused to kill their son. That's a great art in Demon War. Look at Zemus, right? That's incredible. That's so good. Zemus in that form. Like, it's wanted to seem like a tide, or like a shadow that's splayed out into three dimensions. Only Ashura? That's very beautiful. Sylphs. That's really good. Lunar Whale. You can see how it looks like a whale more clearly in this image. There. The giant of Babel to me didn't feel like it fit particularly well. Kane and Sizzle. Yeah, so this art is clearly dripping in the homoerotic subtext and, uh, I'd like to say subtext is for cowards, make them fuck on the screen. That one too. Because they do spend quite a bit of the game, like, looking after each other or Kane being brainwashed. And they have to fight. So, like, there's enemies to love us there. Look at that! Oh. Just gorgeous. Chibi-fired versions of our heroes. <laughs> Yang is smuggling clouds in his chest. Pour him. Edge's cool hair. And gold base, that's where it ends. Oh, chibi versions, that's interesting. Okay. Let's finish up, right? Congrats, we finished Final Fantasy IV. I've said that several times. I'm just proud of us. Way better than, uh, way better Palamon Porums, yeah, cool. Okay, so... 36.9% of people who played the game once finished it entirely. Locked achievements, bestiary, secret summons, that's it. Uh, I can get those. Unless I, uh, I'm missing... Uh, 13. Yeah, 13 enemies to kill, and that's it. So what I'm going to do now is start Final Fantasy V. I need to edit the game catcher so it picks up Final Fantasy V instead of four. And at this point, there you go. I could edit our, like, chatting, and pre uh, chatting image, but I'll do that later. Final Fantasy V didn't start full screen for whatever reason. Let's see what we can do about that. Full screen, please. There you go. Restarts the game. Mm, the camera is appearing a little large. It's not too bad. And now we have Final Fantasy V. We got the title screen of a dragon. Okay. Edit those a little bit. Cool. Guess that was a gallery. A title splash. 
The wings of fate. Well, I think we need to get going. Let's start Final Fantasy V. I'm pretty excited. New game. A year or so, I believe, after Final Fantasy IV, they have a bit of time. And they want to figure out what sort of story they want to tell here. It's slowly fading in like it's supposed to be pre-dawn as well. This music is fantastic. Look at that little guy. Who is that? A little dragon. <laughs> Father! Lena. So we've got a name for it already. Do you really have to go? You know I do, dear. I need you to protect the castle. Under no circumstances are you to follow me. Do you understand? But... Father? Something is wrong with the wind. Strong start. I must go to the wind shrine to make certain that nothing's happened to the crystal. Yeah, I, I've noticed it as well, but to go alone... Leonard, don't worry, I'll be fine. Have faith. Faith. Interesting. Jumps on his sweet dragon and flies away. See, Cory, I don't know if she can follow him. Because he's on a dragon. <laughs> <sighs> Something's wrong with the wind? Well, how does that affect the ship? Pirates again. Seems to come up a lot in Final Fantasy, especially the early Final Fantasies. The wind just stopped. I've got to hurry. Well, he's got to hurry. The wind stopped. Father? Pushes open the door. There's a crystal. What in blazes? Shatters. The wind stopped. The wind crystal shattered. What are we going to do? Mm. Buck, buck. It's probably not good. We do need wind of some sort. So it looks like this person is praising the camp. Ooh. Well, someone cast Meteor really early as well. There we go. That, turning the camera. Turning the camera on the world map is particularly cool. I think I think that's a new trick as well in the storytelling. All right, dude jumps on the chocobo, puts out the fire somehow. Right. And the game begins. Seriously, that's it. We have a freelancer. You can't change jobs yet. Don't have any abilities. No magic. But you'll notice there's time magic as an option. That's interesting. That's new. What are we going to find? We got... Can equip items here as well. It's interesting. 
active, fast, fast. Remember, continue auto battle, optimize. We don't need that. I turn this down a little bit. Usually, when we're playing. No check my music just yet. Yes, that's right. Okay. Start ourselves off here. We don't even have a name for the main character. I can't get off the chocobo. And we're on the world map. God, what a quick start to the game, right? Don't have any random encounters while riding this chocobo. You can see all of the world map now. I know. Well, there's only one place to go. So let's go. The Tycoon Meteorite. Well. <gasps> Boko, wait here, okay? Meh. Come on, Boko, let's go. You can get back on if you want. Wait here, okay? Beautiful pixel work on that tree, I'd say. Tycoon Meteorite. There's one chest in here somewhere. We'll find it. Whoa! <sighs> Goblins! Slightly different goblin art to before as well, so this is new. Okay, attack. Get him. Four damage per hit. Mmm, won't last forever. Got him. Leather cap. You notice we didn't gain any ABP. What's ABP? Mysterious things to find out. Hey, are you alright? Yeah, yeah, I, I believe so. I give you my thanks. Uh, my name is Lena, and you are. me? <gasps> you can name him amazing! Grumbo! No. His name is Bartz. Like that. And in some translations, early translation, they named him Bartz. <laughs> I know, it's such a silly thing to, like, find funny, but it, but it is. You name him Bartz. But uh, under more translations, I'm pretty sure he's Bartz. I want to make sure. Couldn't do omelets back then. Yeah, that's true. But, you know, I'm pretty pleased that now we can name him Bartz. And, like, modern translations. I recognize that things change over time. It's not a bad thing. It's more trivia rather than, haha, look at these funny people. I'm in now. I'm allowed to name him Bartz? <sighs> Kelly. Don't put that choice on me. How terrible would it be? Now, when the characters have official names, we're going to use them. We're going to have to keep Trunt, Grumbo, Malone, and Ubit in our hearts. And in Pathfinder 2nd Edition. <laughs> Call me Bartz. Me and my Chocobo could just go wherever the trail leads us. Bartz? Call me Butts. Me and my Chocobo would go wherever. Butts, she says. This rock suddenly fell from the sky. The impact must have knocked me out. I guess it's a meteorite. A meteorite. I wonder if it has a connection to the wind stopping? It might. <laughs> no, we didn't do a four job fiesta. Bottom right? Again. Ah, oh, thanks. Again, I give my thanks. I wish I could do something more to show my appreciation, but I really, really must go. Whoa. Hey, hold up a sec. But did you hear something? Huh? Oh. Ugh. Help me. Over there. Bottom right, huh? Whatever could that mean? I can see the chest. I want the chest. Gimme the chest. Gimme, gimme. 
Yeah, go to Phoenix Down. Thanks, Mako. Also, we're back to the decide where you want people to go. Like, the formation isn't one front, one back, one front, one back, one front. Oh, what's that? Hey, it's this guy. Are you alright? Where am I? Oh, my aching head. Sex alive? What's happened? I, I don't remember. I can't remember anything. Looks like you hit your head pretty bad. Maybe you got amnesia? Oh no. Oh, someone came back to me. My name's Galoof. That's a start. Anything else? Uh, nope. Just a name. Other than that, my memory is completely blank. Shit. I'm very sorry, but you must excuse me. I have no time to waste. Where are you going? I must go to the Wind Shrine. The Wind Shrine? How did you mention it? I'm pretty sure that's where I was headed. It's decided I'm, I'm going with you. But... I've got to get to that shrine. I feel it in my bones. you got to take me with... Well, bye, crazies. Parts, what about you? Sorry. I'm going to bow out on this one, right? Good luck, though. Wow, bots. Bye. Bots. Thank you again. Uh, farewell. Godspeed and all that what oh. Have a lingering look or anything? That's... Well, they didn't join our party. Good thing, like, we didn't get to name him and it's not that important. Well, alright, Boko. Mystery solved. Mm -hmm. He's a freelancer, baby. He goes his own way. No one tells him which way to go. Come on, Boko. Back to our campfire, maybe? No? Well, there's only other one direction to go, so let's go. Okay, here we go. <gasps> what the hell? Boko just threw me off. Ow. Boko. Bad. Bad Chugabo. What are you doing? Stop him like that. Now don't you give me that look. Quit! Quit, quit! Quit! Yeah, I know. The girl and the old man went off together. But with all the goblins around these parts, fine. I got it. I got it. Me. Ah. Yeah. Poker, come on. Quick. This is controllable. Oh shit! Goblins. Goblins. We take slightly less damage because we're wearing a leather helmet. Bart's leveled up, baby. He's level two freelancer. Let's go. God, it's nice having a chocobo, isn't it? Even though goblins can run as fast as our little chocobo. Come on, Bart. We have essentially no interesting mechanical things to talk about with the combat system yet. First, let's pick up our friends, our new friends. Bucko is going to carry three humans to safety. Oh. Hup. Oh. Glad you finished the squat. Very good, Bots. Good morning. Bots. Seems I can't escape being in your debt. Eh, yeah, don't worry about it. Seems like the meteorite's impact caused a few landslides. And the road's covered in rubble. I don't think you're going to be able to make it to Tool this way. But if I can't get to the Wind Shrine, then... Ugh. Wind Shrine? Golly. The old guy's pretty set on getting there, too.
All right, I'll go with you and personally see to it that you get there safely. Oh, really? Yeah, you know, my dad always wanted me to go out and travel the world. But it also feels like... like the wind is calling me. Oh, sweet talker. As if you don't just have the hots for the little lady. What, you, you're awake? Oh, sounds of surprise. This old dog is always ready for anything. Huff, huff. You were unconscious a little while ago, dude. Just... Still, if the rod's blocked, that makes things a sight more difficult. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. I won't give up. There must be a way to reach the wind shrine. All right, I will find it. All right, let's ride. Quick, quick! All right, Boko, you lead the way. Boko is our fourth party member. Look at that, Lena and Galoof. Fantastic. They're all freelancers. We have nothing special can't access jobs yet. What can we do? Nothing. We can auto attack. Cave. Entrance. Whoops. I didn't, I didn't intend to do that. Alright. Let's go. Hop. I remember there being a cave here. Probably opened up during one of those quakes. Boko, I think this is going to be a little too dangerous for Chocobos. You stay here, okay? Boko has left the party. Quick! Excellent. Bling! <gasps> What's that spring? What's that spring? <gasps> Steel bat! Devil crab! So what do you think of the battle music, huh? I'm glad the battle music is different for each Final Fantasy game because playing through an order would get really painful if it was the same. So 25 experience, everyone's gonna level up. Or not, they'll level up next time. <laughs> This is a recovery spring. HP and MP restored, all status helmets removed, KO'd allies revived. Hop, hop, hop. Is he gonna do that every time? Yes, he is. Guy gets hype real easy. Good job, Bots. It's funny you can name Bots, so you can't name the others. So it looks like Galuf does not have a weapon, so he's just attacking with his fists, but he's getting two attacks in per strike, so. Not terrible. They're still freelancers. I want that chest though. The game is teaching you very early that you're going to be able to walk through things you may not see. And that's apparently a lesson I needed at the end of Final Fantasy IV. Trying to walk across a bridge. So you know, it's worth it. They're good thing that they're repeating it over and over. You can also use our Pixel Remaster map to tell us that there are Zero chests in here? Oh yeah, what about that one? <gasps> it's interesting. That's supposed to be them pressing up against the wall and staying safe. The secret techniques. Ah, uh -huh, so that's how you get in. A leather cap. Still zero of zero. It's interesting, interesting. We found a bug. There you go. Galoof will be fine, don't worry. And in we go. There's two strokers, don't worry about it. We were fully healed just a minute ago. Water looks good? It does. It's kind of shimmery. Look at that! <sighs> My word, I think it's pirates. I 
that ship just now? How's it sailing with the wind so weak? I'm so squishy. Terrible. Can we walk through here? Where's it go? Oh, cool. Love it. And you're like, why? And I'm like, so you can save in the middle of that very difficult dungeon. Of course. This dungeon, dungeon, dungeon is out to kill you. That's why it's throwing strokers at you. I mean, it's another way. It's like, do you think we're going to do that the whole way? Or are they going to have save points? What do you think, huh? Places in the world map to step out and save? Or save points? Save points were new to Final Fantasy IV. That's why they, like, had the text about what they are every time you stepped over them. I'm curious. I'm wondering. I want you to take bets. That's everyone in the VODs and everyone watching live. What's it going to look like? Huh? Steppy. And here we are at the pirate's hideout. Like, we are trying to get to the Wind Shrine, but the game isn't letting us go in any other direction, so here we are. <laughs> this is a pirate hideout, meaning that ship we saw must have been a pirate ship. Wonder if they might give us a ride? Um, I think the only ride they'll be interested in would be a keel hole for three of us. For all three of us. Yeah, you can't just ask a favor from a pirate. That's why we all just sneak on and steal their shit. Whoa, you're pretty gutsy for an old timer. Huh? <laughs> and we will do exactly that. Quick, touch the skull. What did that do? Um, he's asleep. Hmm, he's sleeping, and he won't get out of the way of that door. Can't even use to walk into it, step. Get picked up by a cool hot air balloon. Yeah, of course. He's also asleep. What? <laughs> okay, well. Gabe's not stupid enough to let me ruin everything, so we're gonna get on the ship. Well, we're not going to touch the thing as soon as we need to touch the thing. We're going to explore first. We're not sensible. Don't look at us. What else can we find in here, huh? We got ourselves a cool ship. Another sleeping pirate. Amazing. Can't raid these chests for anything good. Can't nap. Can't mm, fix the rudder. Check the helm. Oh, soldier roll. Oh. God, we're lucky that all these pirates are asleep, aren't we? It's locked. Hmm. Bet there's something cool behind there. And we'll just never know. Not until we steal the ship and then break all the keys. <coughs> we are king of the world, all three of us. Yo ho ho and, and stuff. It's time to cast off. Yar. Yo ho. Well, cast off means start sailing, kid. I don't know that. My wheel won't even budge. How do you work this thing? You try working anything, and there'll be the devil to pay. Oh, yeah, breaking the keys probably won't help. It'll be fun, though. Maybe we'll break the locks and the keys. Trying to steal my ship, are you? I've got a lot of brass. May happy you're just lacking in brains. I'll wager it's the latter. Wait, I'm Princess Lena of Tycoon. Please accept my apologies for attempting to commandeer your ship. Commandeer? And she's a princess? So that girl's royalty. So this is a formal request from the Kingdom of Takarun. Please allow us the use of your vessel. I must get to the Wind Shrine. My father is in danger. <laughs> the Princess of Takarun here on my ship. I'm sure we can fetch a tasty sum for this one. 
Hey, leave her alone, you degenerate, lecherous, piratey pirate. I certainly tried to inject a bunch of humor into the game. And I like that. Good on them. I beg of you, please. That pendant. Toss a lot of them into the brig. Aye, aye, Captain. We don't get to fight these pirates the way we did in one and two and three. Nope, okay. No fighting these pirates. Such a shame. Well, this is a fine how do you do. <clears throat> uh, this is a fine how do you do. What genius came up with the idea to steal the pirate ship anyway? Look in the mirror, Pops. I did get past the locked door. It was pretty good. Oh, my egg and head. I can't remember a thing. And your amnesia oh so conveniently returns. Still... I can't believe you're really the princess of Tycoon, Lena. I'm sorry, I didn't intend to keep it a secret. It's not that big a deal. But if you're the princess, why were you going to the Wind Shrine all alone? My father is there. He hadn't gone, been gone long when the wind dropped to almost nothing. I, I can't shake the feeling that something terrible is happening. I slipped out of the castle and headed for the shrine, but then that meteorite fell and, and you know the rest. Well, well, well. Welly, wellity, well, well. Well, welly, well, 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 well. What a story we're wrapped in now. Why does the Princess of Tycoon have the same pendant as I do? She said her father's at the Wind Shrine? Faris with the fabulous hair. We're about to cast off, lads. Set a course for the Wind Shrine. But, Cat, and what about the landlubbers? Untie them. Hmm. Sometime today would be nice. Hell yeah, I guess we don't have to kill these pirates. But why? I reconsidered your request. You can go back to the brig if you prefer. Pull anchor. We sail for the wind shrine. Hey, something wrong with the ears today? I hope I don't have to discipline. Well, I, 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 Captain. Off we go. Climb to the crow's nest. It's going to be fun sailing a ship with six people. But the wind has stopped. How, how can the ship move? Full of curiosity, aren't you, lass? Sildra, come up and say hello. Oh? Yeah? What a cutie! God, we got Leviathan early. I wonder how long it'll be until we can summon. Beautiful, isn't she? Sildra and I were raised together. We're close as siblings. <laughs> what? Alright, we're off. Lead the way, Ferris. Let's go. We got a ship! God, that was quick. Look at our party, we're full. We got another freelancer, hell yeah. We can get off the ship, we can get back on the ship. We can leave through this... <laughs> Inlet? Corridor? Captain, shall I sail out to the wind shrine for you? No, I want to sail it myself. Oh my god. I actually expected the game to be like, no, what are you doing? What's this? 
We made it to two. Grog, Grog. All right. The pirates are busy getting drunk. I think I'll stop in and have a drink as well. That's very parody of you. Paris is no longer in our party. You look a little wet behind the ears. How about I take you to the Greenhorns Club? Sir, I am interested to see where this leads. Yeah, I reckon so. First, shut your eyes. Can't have just about anybody figuring where it's at. Right, here we are. This is a very short walk away from the... Okay. Greenhorns Club. Howdy. Would I be right to assume you're new to this adventuring thing? Of course. Alrighty, come on in then. Hell yeah! What have we got? 100 gil, yes please. We've got a phoenix down and a potion and a tent and a secret corridor that gives us an ether. Thanks, guys. Keep an eye out for secret passages. Try walking through the wall to my left and you'll catch my drift. Thieves gonna learn the ability to find passages. And they can seek through secret passages with no trouble at all. Urns and chests like these sometimes have goodies inside. Why don't you try having a look-see? Would you like an explanation of the job ability system? No. Saving the game is something you should do often. That way you'll always be able to pick right up where you left off. You can harm ghosts and the undead with recovery magics, such as cure. Try putting the mages and other folks with weaker defense in the back row. You can reverse the front and back rows by selecting formation from the menu screen. And now it very slowly shows me how. Thank you. Excellent. If your hair suddenly turns white, it means you're aging. And you'll gradually get weaker and weaker. Wow! Sir, that's a thing just to throw at me, buddy. The inexorable march of time will take all of you. Monsters! A single goblin in a chest? Terrifying. How do you do that? Leather shoes. Alright, I'll forgive you this time. Footwear that is both fashionable and comfy. Amazing. <laughs> Sometimes monsters hide in treasure chests. Try to be more careful from now on. Wait mode. When your hit points begin running low, use a potion or white magic such as cure to restore them. Want some useful abilities? Yeah, sure. Two-handed. This ability, when you have a weapon in one hand and the other hand is empty, your attack strength doubles. Basically, you're using a one-handed weapon with two hands so you can attack with a heavy swing. Sprint. So as long as one person in your party has sprint, you can run faster to three towns and dungeons by pressing the cancel button. Just have someone sit in your party, become a thief, and you're set. Blue magic. Blue magic is the art of learning monsters' special techniques. However, to learn them, you'll need to set the blue mage ability learn and then get hit by the enemy attack. Only then can you remember it. You can learn attacks like a goblin's goblin punch, a steel bat's vampire, or a mold wind's aerial. Aerial? Aero. To use a monster skill in battle, you need the blue mage ability, blue magic. Plus, hold the L and R buttons during battle if you want to run away. But be aware, not all enemies will let you go. You've probably noticed that these numbers pop up during battle. White numbers indicate damage, green indicates heal. Oh, okay. Thanks, Greenhorn Club. I'm leaving. There are a few more items in here somewhere. Well, in the town. Woof! Thanks for stopping by. You're welcome. I'm glad you have a tutorial section in your town. It probably helps out people a lot. But I'm just arrogant enough to not need it. He 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 ha. <laughs> I'm going to come back and find all your items. Don't forget about me, Farris says. He joins the party again so we can buy things. I'm not going to buy that stuff because we only have 100 gil and I'm pretty sure... See ya. And I'm pretty sure we're going to get most of these items later. Yeah, that's right. I'm being frugal for once. Well, no items. That was interesting. Spinny, spinny, spinny. Whee! I think I'm going to throw up. But I'm having so much fun. I'm training to be a bard. Listen to this. 
Long, long ago in the cattle to the east, a big old ugly monster was having a feast. It ain't lots of people, 53 at least, but the good guys used the crystal and sealed away the beast. Oh yeah! My granddad says he regrets telling me that story now, but you guys liked it, right? I don't know, chat, you tell me. Please don't take me to the Greenhorns Club again. Great snakes, the pub's been overrun by pirates! Pirates, eh? <laughs> you look real close, you're fetching last, Lena. Wow. Captain's upstairs. Take a load off and drink up. Captain, so dreamy. Sorry, there's nothing left. These pirates drank the house dry. I'm only helping you because the captain ordered, so don't be getting the wrong idea. The pirate boss went upstairs. Oh, we can't touch the fire and go, ow, 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 again. It's so sad. I'm, I'm not looking at anything. You're the perv here, not me. Get your mind out of the gutter. Mm-hmm. Why don't you have a seat? Just keep your eyes on me. <laughs> Lovely. Oh, yeah. Much like we can with a lot of the Pixel Remaster, I can uh, hammer left or right and change who is currently the displayed person. I like butts. So it's going to be butts for now. Also do... Do what? Sit on that stool? Oh, okay, yeah. To watch the dancer? Yeah. Hold on, I'll go check on him. Pirate. <gasps> oh my god, he's gorgeous. But so what you got that goofy look on your face for? Uh, what do you mean? Must have been a trick of the light or something. Look on out loud. Shove over and let me see. Faris is the sexiest pirate king we've ever seen. The great Caesar's ghost. Just gorgeous. A beauty for the ages. What in the world are you two going on about? <sighs> Slept like a babe, I did. What are you two gawking at? Get a hold of yourselves. <laughs> now shove off. I need some time for myself. Alright. It's locked. Well, fair enough. A sexy pirate king. Hmm. For you, honey, we've got something special. Woo! Woo! Play the piano? Absolutely. Let me tickle the ivory for the first time in my life. Wow, the, that's supposed to be a joke, but okay. Piano skill leveled up? Wow. Kids, that's what they tell you. You gotta practice the piano. Usually, I'm gonna tickle, play every piano you see. Alright, Manko, I will, for you. Wind Crystal's power is amplified by machine. It lets our ship sail even faster than before. The next liner from Waltz should be... really should be arriving any time now. Be careful, the pub is full of pirates. Sexy pirates? Huh, a meteorite crashed near Castle Tycoon. One fell in the mountains to the west, too. I guess they're in season. Pirates. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> 10 guilt? No, I'm good. I'm looting. I'm looking for hidden items, though. That's that's what I'm doing. I'm not dirty. I should get on with it. What should I do for you? I don't need a tent or potions. We're okay. I'm sad I can't touch the fire and go, ow, ow, ow. I'm just going to do it. Ow, ow, ow. There you go. Tradition established and continued. <laughs> I love the pirates.
Can I do fear? Oh, magic! Well, no need to have it. We can't cast it. Show it a canoe. Hmm, I don't have a canoe yet, which is a shame. If you take the canal eastward, you'll get to the king kingdom of Wals. Wals has prospered thanks to the water crystal. Yeah, but we're looking for wind crystal. Hey, you've had a potion. Excellent. I'm pretty sure this is Zok's house. Okay, Lena, who's Zok? Someone you know? Yeah, he built the Torna Canal. By himself? What a boss. A lot of people die when you build canals, so... It's pretty tough. Oh, but there's an item in this bush. Phoenix down, hell yeah. What lovely, peaceful music. God, I'll be sad if we don't get a canoe. We didn't get a canoe in Final Fantasy IV. I couldn't show anyone a canoe. Thank you for the new shoes. Uh, I'll work faster. Uh, a third worker quote from Command and Conquer Generals. I'm here to loot all your stuff, Zok. Past the time of the canoe. God, that'll be sad. Nope. Oh. Hey, Zok. Give me more items. I've got obsessive completion disorder. No, oh, alright. No Zok in here. They ought to think by seven. That, look, that's certainly true. Oh, now we're leaving, and Lena's like, looks like Zok isn't home. Okay, let's check back later then. Alright. Yeah, I guess we're supposed to be at the Wind Temple by now. Wind Shrine. Whoops! Don't need to go into the sword. Weapon shop. There you go. The Beast in the Canal and seems to target women. That's kind of fucked up, dude. We'll deal with that later, I'm sure. We're heroes. Well, I'm out of ideas. Let's get out of here. Hey, Ferris, you coming? Oh, trying to give me the slip? I think not. No. It's your ship. We're going to meet you there. Grog, 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 grog. Oh, yeah, there is a... There's, there's a meteor over there. Anyway. Maybe it should have said yes. Guide me to the wind shrine, because I don't know where it is. Hey, there's a canal. The canal gate is locked. Oh, okay, well... I'm going in that direction then. No random encounters on the boat, which is interesting because they certainly were random encounters on the boat in Final Fantasy 1, 2, and 3. I see panicked sages slash researchers here. Hey, everybody. Princess Lena. What's happened? Is everything alright? The wind suddenly stopped and now monsters have overrun the shrine. <gasps> what about father? The king went up to the top floor. He is yet to return. Something must have happened to him. Hmm. Crystal's on the top floor, right? Won't hurt to go up and take a look. Paris, you're right. Come on! Nod, nod. King Takum went up to the top floor to check on the crystal, but that was some time ago. When those monsters have around the shrine, we fled to this room and haven't been able to leave. Princess, please take these with you. Receive five potions. <gasps> Healing water? Drink this water to restore your energy. Thanks. Crystal upstairs is controlled by a machine that amplifies its power. Hmm. That's interesting. Machines amplifying crystal powers. That's the first time, like, crystals have been explicitly utilized by the people who live in this world, right? Black goblin, mold winds, white serpents. Well, that's pretty good. And an elixir this early? Wow. Either this game is much harder and you're going to need to use all those items, or it's much easier because it's giving you all the cool items. Hey, look, a safe point. This is a consecrated circle. You may rest safely in a tent or cottage, or even 
save your game. Let's go. Let's. It's friggin' go time, baby. What's up this way? A chest? A leather cap? Hell yeah. We already got a leather cap. Time. Yeah, yeah. We got a leather shield. You know what? This seems terrible, but stacking our gear so that one person is much more survivable than the others is pretty sensible, to be honest. Oh, and then that'll happen, so... <laughs> I can't resist very well. Hold on. Very good. Level up to level 4 for most of our people. How many other things are supposed to be here? Two more chests? We can do it. Wind Shrine, we will save the day. Just by yourself? Alright. I'm gonna regret saying it was easier, aren't I? Oh, what's that? What is that beautiful bird? It's got beautiful plumage. I find it interesting that Final Fantasy games, especially especially the early ones, don't restore you to max when you level up. Like, our max HP increases, but we don't gain anything from that. We don't gain anything um, until we rest or heal up in some way. Like, we haven't taken that much damage. It's just that they've leveled up several times while we're running through. Well, maybe I should heal before I fight this bird. Broadsword? Yes, please. Yes, absolutely. Can be two-headed, can be enchanted. Yeah, but we don't have two hand yet, so... Okay, cool. So now... Ooh, Faris is the strongest person in our party. So, Faris is gonna lead it. I think this bird is clearly gonna try and kill us. We have a spare dagger. There you go, buddy. Everyone's equipped as well as we can go. Actually, I've got an idea. I'm gonna keep you useless, and Lena, you're gonna be the coolest person in the party. Oh, you can't? Oh, that is a shame. Okay. That's a minor shame, right? I was kinda hoping she could do wield knives. This guy's not playing around. Some cool boss music, right? We definitely don't want to attack while it's doing that, right? That's just asking for trouble. Basic pattern recognition with shielding itself like that. Or oh, that's how it builds up for its breathwing attack, and we should be taking advantage of it. I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine now, because we've beaten up this bird. Sorry, bird. No gill, no experience, no ABP. Well, I've got a feeling still. Let's go. Think that's the top of the tower now? No. Right, there's more to go. There's a chest over there. Dun, 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 dun. It's the last chest in here. We know it. Oh look, Galoof, you're dealing much more damage now. a boy. Contained a staff? Can anyone use a staff? Better than a knife? Galoof is just better with, with the knife already. Okay. He doesn't even have a class. Look at that manny wizard! What a weird looking dude! He's gone now. Attack when the tail's up, and it will counter-attack. Tape the knife to the stuff. Well, now we have a spear. The crystal! It shattered. What 
the? Here we go. A fire crystal. What is it doing? Boop. Courage, the essence of flame. Gotta be the water crystal, right? Goes to Lena, okay. Devotion, the essence of water. Gotta be aloof. Hope, the essence of Earth. Oh, look, Ares just showing something and it goes straight to Bart's. I think I go to Lena, you know. Passion, the essence of wind. What was that? What's happening? It feels warm. Are these the crystal's essences? Then, no. Ah, oh, he's back. Everything's fine. We don't. We don't have a succession crisis. Father, what? Listen and listen well. You are the chosen for the warriors of light again. Bearers of the four crystal essences. Father, what do you mean? The wind crystal is already shattered. The other three crystals are in danger as well. You four must protect them. An evil presence is awakening. One that wishes to return everything to darkness. Have you started to identify the repeated tropes, items, themes, plot points in the series yet? Here we are at our entry number five. Father, warm, go forth, warriors of light, and save the crystals. Wait, no, Father. Uh, zip. What are these? I guess the pieces of the crystal. They're coming for you. Ferris gets none. They're crystal fragments. Stored within the power of warriors of legend. Knight, monk, blue mage, thief, black mage, white mage. The crystal, it's, it's lending us power. I think it's time I got out of here. <sighs> Lena. Hmm. There should be a wall panel behind the altar that'll take us outside. Now we have jobs. And you can also look at something that I've been talking about for ages and want to bring up now because it's very important. Uh, it's something I love a lot. Look at how each, our four characters have several jobs and some things stay the same between jobs like Galoof's hair and his beard and Ferris's hair and beard, but their clothing changes with each sprite, which each new job. You get to determine what they are. I just love that. I love that Lena is a monk it's like a uh, Chinese style dress, I believe, and ties her hair up. That's so cool. But as a knight, she doesn't. I love the idea of like what changes when you have a different job, a different profession, compared to like what stays the same. What part of you is you, what part of you is what you have to do instead. 
And the Maker is correct. This is where we have the beginning of the Blue Mage. Uh, first time in the series. Uh, the Mage learns powers from the enemy. Enemy monsters. Um, I think let's have Barris is a Blue Mage. Set character abilities, job commands, blue magic, and any other ability you've unlocked? Nope, because we're just starting. Because of course, in Final Fantasy V, you can take abilities you learn from one job and use them in the other. It's pretty cool. Weirdly enough, I actually don't want you using the broadsword or the shield anymore. Why, Jimbles, why? Because Lena's going to become a knight. She has guard, completely absorbed. Because yeah, she gets a broadsword and leather shield. Bartz is going to be our thief. Get steel, nothing else. You should get a knife though, buddy. Why don't we have a knife? Go move. Take that knife off. Do we have two broadswords? Maybe you should get a broadsword. Okay, <laughs> never mind. And Galoof, you're gonna start with white mage, and boy, you're gonna be able to keep using white, uh, keep being a white mage for most of the game, buddy. Hope you like it. All right, everyone's equipped as best they can. Now you can see this doesn't change. Weirdly enough. That stays the same. And I'm pretty confused by that. Like, I guess maybe it'd be difficult to have different sprites for walking around, but come on. We can have the combat. We can steal shit. Couldn't steal. Well, we can try. We don't know any white magic yet, but we'll get ourselves a little bit of experience as we walk through. Take three times the amount of space of combat sprites. Oh yeah, that, I guess that makes sense. But still. Oh wow, there's a shortcut that I completely ignored earlier. Blocked it. Stole a potion, very good. Yeah, enemies in here know arrow and goblin punch. And that's the thing, I want to get some stuff. You need to let them cast it. Oh man. You mean just stand there and take their beatings? Yeah, potions to heal up a bit. Okay. Steal. Defend. We'll just sit here for a little bit, not too long. This is one of the things that, like, will come up, probably as an achievement, that, like, got a long way, almost like I'm side questing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I bet learn all blue magic is an achievement in Steam for this game. And I don't know if it's, hopefully it'll be one of the ones I get, but oof, I don't think the White Serpent have anything. They don't have error, that's for sure. Okay, cool. Look at ABP, one, which is ability points, and it's how you level up the jobs instead of just your class, which of course is a separate thing. Hilarious. It's a good thing too. You know, couldn't steal, is it because it doesn't have anything? Or is it someone else? Other ways, I mean, do I want a list? Uh, I'm sure I can Google a list. Um, there are no monsters at this level. So let's go up again. But like, goblins and error. If you're on a roll and you want to be, oh, here we go. Mold wind, white serpent, black goblin. So what we're gonna do is steal that, attack that, because we don't need you to stay open. Those two can defend. Nothing, nothing to steal. Well, we've already got the item. Okay. And... 
guard. Right. Just sit here for just a little bit. Goblin punch. Did the goblin punch not count because it needs to be used on Ferris? What do you think? Come on. Ah, oh, it has to actually hit the person who's learning. That is a shame. But if one person learns it, they all... That's interesting. So, everyone with learning or everyone in general? Forever. Everyone who's currently able to learn? Honestly, Bart's not getting any boot. See if there's anything to steal in the mold wind. Nothing to steal. Okay. We'll send him to defend again as well. Oh, cool! <laughs> well, I mean, it, it casts it anyway. It's just... It wrecked everyone. I pick it, buddy. You're not done yet. What thrilling gameplay. Make everyone... Yeah, the real trick is make everyone blue mage at the same time blow it. And that is what we'll do. What we're going to do now... Ooh, another elixir, that's so good. You're exactly right, Mecco. There's no reason for us to stare at the screen and entertain each other like that. Um, we can do this. We can embrace the fact that we can switch jobs easily. Right. Exactly. I want to learn these blue mage abilities, damn it. Look at them all. Thank you, you're, you're right. And like, while I would enjoy grinding it with the music off and... Alright. First, kill this bastard. Good. Now, everyone defend until they learn... They use Goblin Punch and then we... I kind of expected it would say something like, You've learned this! Damn it. Learned arrow! There you go! Alright. So, Lena nearly died, because arrow is a dangerous spell. But hey, we got it! Get it after the battle. That's good. Like, sometimes it gives you a message, it's like, Learn X! Right away, and that's cool. Blue mages have a big part, like, not a massive part, but is like a whole additional job with a lot of other challenges and content in 14 that I haven't tried to learn yet or play around in. Right. Now we defend until we get Goblin Punch. Right, we got Goblin Punch. Let's get out of here. Cool stuff! Look at that! What a neat trick, thank you, Mako. What am I gonna do? Uh, like that, and like that. And you get to stay that, you get to move to White Mage, which optimizes you. And then you get to go back to being a knight. Like that, optimize you, and you are currently that, so let's do that, optimize, optimize, optimize. 
Optimize, optimize, optimize. Optimize. Cool. Good to go. Hell yeah. Wrong way. <laughs> now, we will have Faris, hopefully, in a random battle that will happen about now, use Goblin Punch. We'll see if our Goblin Punch is better than their Goblin Punch. Blue magic. Okay, well first, it costs zero. What do you think, Faris? Nice. Well, if it costs zero, I think that's just better than normal. And look at that. We got some free shoes out of beating a goblin. Don't think about where that leather came from. <laughs> well, let's tell these researchers. Hey, we will stay here and pray that some of the crystal may be restored. Princess Lena, the wind is becoming weaker and weaker. Perhaps the purification machine overloaded the crystal and that's why it cracked. Crystals in Walsh and Karnak are hooked up to the same kind of amplification machines. If the other three crystals were to shatter as then, well, oh dear. Even here, the wind grows ever weaker. If it were to stop completely, then what? Well, phys physics would have been broken, so we're in a lot of trouble. Yeah, what's the trick to Goblin Punch, Mako? Also, hilariously, we're still level zero in all of these classes, so they can get much better too. Not kid. Oh my god, look at these beautiful things. That's incredible. Incredible. Look at them. They're perfect. They're perfect. Never change. I love them. Look at the little nutkin. Eight times damage to an equal of enemy level. Faris has mastered check. That's interesting. What's check? As your level one blue mage. Well, now we have an ability to put in check an enemy's HP. Wow, okay. Well, we don't have any other abilities. Let's do that. It's the blue magic we should get for the pirate hideout. Yes, we can do that. That's a good idea. Is there a convenient way to check levels? Well, I wonder if it has anything to do with perhaps this ability called check we just got. Okay, come on, Ferris, show it off. Check. HP 6 out of 20. Well, it only tells HP. It doesn't, it doesn't think it told me the level. Still, Goblin Punch is not bad anyway. Bart's mastered fine passages. Lena mastered cover. Galoof mastered white magic level one. Well, find passages. Fantastic. Let's just have that on. Cover. Take hits to allies of low HP. Fantastic. Wasn't she already doing that though? White magic level one. Job commands white magic level six, but you know. It means that if we go, hey Galoof, you don't need to do that anymore, let's make you a monk. Set character abilities, we can also make him a white mage. How cool is that? Right? This early in the game, we can also mess about with this sort of thing. But we need to level him up with white mage a little bit more first, that's all. It's worth it. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's some customization 3 didn't have. That's a step up. That's really interesting. I don't think we can go back into the pirate cave. Which is disappointing. So I was going to go get some blue magic from, from a bat. Maybe down here, maybe? Yes, yes we can. To be honest, what we should be do, doing is saying, hey Boko. Yeah, go around. Thank you. You're exactly right, Corey. However, it is 10 o'clock. Let's save the game here. Uh, I am gonna not get the blue magic. We'll do that on stream next time, okay? Well, well, well. Congratulations, everybody. Here we are coming all the way to Final Fantasy, uh, you know. Good night, Corey. Thanks very much. Going to Final Fantasy V. Hell yeah. I will change this banner. 
and it'll be up and ready for next Wednesday. Otherwise, I hope you have a very good weekend and you tell the people you love that you love them very much. And we will join you again on Monday night for more Pillars of Eternity. See you next time. Have a good time. Uh, shout out to Dead Man who's streaming on Saturday and Sunday. Do check up on those ones, okay? Otherwise, have a good week and don't, don't work too hard. Right. Don't work too hard. Only do things you want to enjoy. For at least two hours, okay? Mwah. Next week's banner. Yeah, well, won't be too bad. <laughs>